And here we go. Sliman with a shot right off the bat there. 160 pounds state final. Sliman, a wrestler that doesn't always let it cut loose. At times, he can be a little cautious here. We'll see how he wrestles. In the first round of this tournament, he really turned it up. Troll on the inside tie there is Mike Sliman. Has an underhook there, looking to hit a boot scoot. And we'll come back to the center, tied at zero. Quick shot off the whistle again. I don't know if that's looking to score that or. Not a whole lot of action going on here. Daniels has the underhook on the right side. Sliman keeps his hips back. Trying to snap that head down. Not a whole lot of action here. Sliman gets to the outside. Two takedown there for Sliman with 10 seconds left in this first period. Looking to ride up, throws the legs in. He's going to coast into the second period with a 2 0 victory, or 2 0 lead, excuse me. Daniel's choice here in the second period. He defers. Sliman's going bottom. Sliman instantly to his feet. Hits a switch in two seconds and gets the reversal. We'll see if Sliman opens up a little bit on top here. Daniels with a little bit of the freestyle defense down there, keeping his hips flat to the mat. Now he's working up. Controlling that wrist is Daniels underneath. Simon looks to bring it back. Coached in the corner by his previously mentioned father, Mike Sliman. Again, state champion in 1975 for the same Lindbergh Flyers. He was at 112 pounds. Mike stays in control there. Daniels, good motion for a moment there. Sliman looking for a Turk there as they go out of bounds. Daniels is frustrating Sliman a bit on the mat here. Daniels will have to be careful here. A stall call. Would assume, yes, there it is. It, it, you just assumed it would be imminent there for a little bit, folks. Simon riding hard up 4-0, 30 sec 36 seconds left in the second period. Simon covers from the left side. Ooh, Daniels works hard, gets to his feet. He's out. It's four to one. Yeah. 
Simon controls the head there. Nice little snap. Kind of rushes in there. No, no score there. Daniels chooses bottom. Down 4-1 entering the third period. Daniels, the only one with a stall call. Slyman still fouling. Four to two now. Daniels got his one there. Daniels on his feet is going to have to be a little bit more offensive. He needs a takedown just to tie. Probably if he's going to win this match, he's going to need at least two takedowns. If not a takedown with backs. Right now, he's content to allow Sliman to control this tie here. He's going to have to create some space and look for some angles here. Sliman with that long reach. Kept Daniels at bay for a little bit. Now a snap, looking to score there. Front headlock, Daniels looking to get out of bounds. And we got a bounds with 111 left in the third period. Sliman leading four to two. He's red on your scoreboard, folks. Daniels looking for a two on one. Sliman looks for the spin sh shot. Splits the legs. Looking to isolate that bottom leg here and hook it. Slyman not willing to put himself in danger, just kind of holds on to the leg for the stalemate. We're at 53 seconds left. For all his successes, Slyman is a very intelligent wrestler. He doesn't put himself in danger very often, folks. Lots of close victories against the top wrestlers. But victories nonetheless, stalling by Daniels for refusing to come back onto the mat. One point slime and five to two in favor of the Lindbergh senior. Oh, Daniels in on a leg. And it looks like Slyman's going to be able to hold on. We're under 10 seconds here, folks. Coach Hansel and Big Mike Slyman telling him to stay right there. Congratulations, Mike Slyman, two-time state champion for the Lindbergh Flyers. Congratulations to his father and to Coach Hansel. Great group of guys over there at Lindbergh. Drew Daniels wrestled a tough match. He just kind of ran into a man who was wrestling at his best at the right time. Undefeated 